Hello folks, as you can see, I finally have fish in here. See my two clown fish here to the side, this is October the 30th, 2020, it's my two clown fish. I added another large rock, that's the mid-size one, the first one, and this is the second large rock, plus my sleeping Puffer fish, beautiful fish, very colorful. But he didn't eat that much today, so I may have to find some good food for him. Looks like he's asleep. I added a new uh, Aquion 950 which I turned it off because it seemed like it was too much flow. I bent the other one, the first one, up further so there's less flow at the bottom. This is a new filter. This is the Emperor 400 because the other one wasn't working that well. So they upgraded me to a newer, larger felt. I had to sort of retro felt fit that. The filter pipe down there. And of course my feather worms here. I don't know if you can see them really well or not. I didn't want to wake up the uh, puffer, so that's why I kinda Did you use lights? My question is, how much flow do I really need? And since I don't have coral yet, and how to direct the flow? I'm also going to look into what's the best food for the puffer, and to make him happy. And what's the best, what types of food, what do I need to do to feed these feather worms and keep them happy. They all bloomed out, so, and the uh, clownfish look, look like they're doing pretty good. I acclimated the... Uh, Oh yeah, I have a digital thermometer also here. And over here, API 5-in-1 test kit, which I don't know how to use it yet. I'll be reading this and uh, doing tests with this. Test everything. My salinity is good so far, and so I want to check all the other stuff through this. And, uh, that's pretty much it, it folks. And, uh, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you to my 187 subscribers, which I have, I have you know. I'm happy to have them. I know a lot of people have hundreds and thousands and millions or whatever, but I'm happy to have the subscribers I have appreciate my channel and appreciate the, the stuff that I do on it. There'll be more in the future. I said I'm just starting with this saltwater aquarium. It's my new hobby. so. But I'd do something. You know, I'm going to do some more photography. You can see I got some of my prints here. They're all for sale. Um, it's my eagles, bald eagles, and uh, shots that I've gotten at different sites.
Some of my favorite shots. Um, this is what I love to do the most is uh, wildlife photography. Anyway, that's me here on the ice in 1995 when the Chesapeake Bay actually froze over. We had temperatures minus 15, minus 20, below zero at night, and minus 5 to uh, 4 degrees or 5 degrees in a day. And this is only the third time in, in history that the Chesapeake Bay has frozen over. Because it's a brackish water environment, which is salt water and fresh water mix. Sort of a salt water environment, but fresh water also. Anyway, folks, uh, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed. I'm still trying to straighten up my place a little bit more. Get things more organized in here. Got my bookshelves and all my fossils and minerals and stuff here. Yeah, I don't have my lights on. I need to get more lights actually up in here, but I think this is good enough for right now. I'll increase that later. Got my other cabinet over here. And, uh, and my third cabinet here. Yeah, this is my small little apartment. Efficiency. But it works for me for now. Some more of my shots. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed it. Come back, like, subscribe, share, and um, I'll see you around again. I'll probably have some more videos coming out in the near future. All right, thank you very much.